Project Veritas is suing its founder, James O'Keefe, according to the Daily Caller. The right-wing nonprofit, which ousted O'Keefe earlier this year for allegedly misusing the organization's funds and also allegedly mistreating employees, filed a lawsuit in a federal court in New York on Wednesday morning. The complaint alleges that O'Keefe failed at his duties as leader of Project Veritas, which caused significant damage. The organization also maintains that he must be held accountable for how he behaved toward employees, particularly female employees. Now, Rising has reached out to O'Keefe for comment. We have not heard back. He has been on the show in the past to discuss his sting operations. Um, obviously, James O'Keefe, Project Veritas, is known for doing these undercover videos um, with, with some government agents, with media companies. Um, he did it for CNN. He actually did it for Fox recently, mm. uh, post-Tucker departure, and then also for uh, Big Pharma, for Pfizer. Um, disclosures. Now, James O'Keefe is a very popular figure in conservative world, in conservative mm. media. It's a lot of friends and allies. Um, he's a colorful character, mm -hmm. um, theatrical. I just saw him on Russell Brand singing a few notes of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen him perform part of Oklahoma live before. What he's a, a treat. <laughs> he's, uh, he, he's, uh, so he, he has friends and allies. Um, he's done a lot of interesting work. I think uh, sometimes that work has been useful and has brought to us very interesting information. I think some of the Pfizer information was useful. Um, I also think his practices are so deceptive that sometimes it's not, you know, he, he'll pretend to be on a at a bar having drinks with an employee. The employee is, is a low-level person who's kind of blowing off steam mm -hmm. about their workplace. You know, you take me out, you, you, I'm sure you take you out for drinks, I'm sure what, what you'd have to say about me might not be, hopefully not Hardly what you really think. Robbie. But, uh, but uh, yeah, there's a kind of puffery yeah. and an exaggeration that people can to partake in when they're trying to impress somebody, right. impress a date, something like and that. Right, and sometimes it'll be like, yeah, he's talking to someone at CNN, for instance, saying, oh yeah, the whole company's biased against conservatives, and it's like bombshelling, but we kind of know that already, yeah, don't we? Yeah, sure. But I'm, you know, I'm not trying to, uh, 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 he, he, sting journalism can be, can be useful, and I'm not, you know, writing off mm -hmm. um, what he's done entirely. However, he is now having this acrimonious um, split dispute. It seems like there's been a lot of these in conservative media lately, with uh, Crowder Tucker and, and Fox, Crowder and the Daily Wire mm -hmm. and the Blaze and all of that. Um, yeah, in interesting times. Now, so the company side, they're saying that he misused funds, that he spent funds on like a private car for himself, right? other things, and also that he was very bullying. Yeah, so in February, uh, a group of Project Veritas employees signed a letter accusing O'Keefe, this is from an uh, article mm -hmm. in the Daily Beast, accusing O'Keefe of becoming a, quote, power drunk tyrant who was, quote, outright cruel to employees whose misdeeds ranged from eating an eight-month pregnant woman sandwich <laughs> to spending company funds on musical theater productions. He was placed on suspension in February and then soon thereafter announced the launch of a new Project mm -hmm. Veritas-like group called O'Keefe Media Group. And so the question now, and as I, as I watch this play out on social media, is who has the most loyalty from the fan base, the organization, the original organization right. that we founded and the work that they did, um, or James O'Keefe as an individual? I think it's no question, it's O'Keefe. Uh, O'Keefe was the organization. He's the only one with any degree of name recognition representing the organization. Um, he, he is the organization. Now, the organization is saying that when the board met, uh, you know, it, it seemed very uh, swift, his departure, and like they canned him. They're claiming now that when they met to discuss the situation, they didn't intend to fire him. They were just trying to come to an amicable resolution. That could be corporate speak, and they were absolutely trying to fire him. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. um, again, some of these workplace issues, we've talked about these are in other contexts. These are things that the board of a company um, no matter how much you might like the figure, has mm -hmm. to address. Just because and just because someone is a good journalist or a good entertainer or mm -hmm. a good spokesperson for an, organiza an organization doesn't necessarily mean they're a good manager of people, um, you know, that kind of thing. And it, it just exposes these companies to liability. to liability. You can't look at what happened at Fox News and see that they were forced to settle for nearly three, right. you know, three quarters of a million dollars, uh, three quarters of a billion dollars, excuse me, in this settlement and not understand the financial decisions that are being made here sure. to have HR departments to oversee this kind of behavior. But also getting rid of your main guy in humiliating fashion can also <laughs> cause major financial problems for organizations. Sure. As I think in some in conservative media are learning, including I would think Project Veritas. I would, um, if I was 
endeavoring to join a conservative media thing going on, I would put much more stock in whatever James O'Keefe is doing next rather than Project Veritas as it exists now, just because again he he was the organization. Yeah, I, I think that's I think that's completely fair. But sometimes it just is what it yeah. is. You, you, Maybe it is what it is. There's I mean you, some some of these dynamics are not uh, sustainable. Apparently he is being accused of disparaging the board of using uh, Project Veritas materials to start his new company, to skimming off Veritas's donor list while working for his new company. Um, you know what what what. What do people expect Project Veritas to do in that sort of a situation? Right. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's not to the mention the, all of yeah. the HR things, where apparently there were yeah. these disparaging comments, particularly toward female staffers on social media and in person. You don't have to like it, but companies, cor corporations, organizations have to be run with a certain degree of HR considerations, or they're going to get sued out of existence by their own, by employees. By it's, it's like it's, it's totally untenable to have a complete free-for-all workplace. Yeah, and, and again, it's anymore. not just the HR staff. It yeah. is this, you know, skimming of resources, misappropriation of funds, again, right. those All kinds alleged, of things. You know, we don't know exactly this lawsuit could be, it could turn out to be not um, well-founded or well-sourced. It could be, you know, they're sour grapes and they're trying to get one up on him. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it, it could be. It's, it sounds like you're skeptical. I mean, I, I'm no, I'm not. It's, uh, well, I, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm skeptical that uh, all it, of these allegations are. No, I'm, false I'm not. Or... I'm not skeptical of that. Um, there could very well be wrongdoing on both sides in terms of his exit, and whether like I don't necessarily believe that they didn't. So, so this reminds me a little bit of this Kaylee McEnany situation, mm -hmm. where. She misreads a poll number, arguably, and Donald Trump goes, you know, full milk toast, <laughs> full milk toast, full on, like calling her out, criticizing her, being antagonistic to her for what seems to be an honest mistake by someone who's been very supportive of him, who literally worked for him and has been an ally of his uh, throughout this process. Mm -hmm. Some people have defended uh, McEnany including Candace Owens. I saw her on Twitter yesterday saying, you know, whatever you feel about Trump, this is a, a, an own goal. There's no reason for him to come out this strongly against Kayleigh McEnany. He could have simply corrected her and moved on. Why lose an ally? Mm -hmm. This says something about how disloyal he is to even people he likes. And other people were saying, no, Candace Owens, you're wrong and defending Trump no matter what. And it does seem to be to raise another one of these situations where, especially on the right, it seems there doesn't seem to be, <laughs> when a figure is really, really liked, there is mm -hmm. a lot of leeway given to their personal behavior. Oh, 100%. And, and there doesn't seem to be any space to say, hey, I like Trump, I like James O'Keefe, but they did the wrong thing here in this instance and they should apologize. It seems to be a very all or nothing world where even someone like Candace Owens is being dragged by people on the internet for saying what seems to be kind of obvious, like you can like Trump, but he should probably not act like this going forward. And anyone who does like Trump, Candace Owens was saying, should advise him that this is not a good look and it's, it's hurting his chances for to achieve his bigger goals here. Right, the people who think what you just just said that our beloved figures, people we really like, are not immune from criticism and they can make blunders and we should call those out even right. if we still like the person. People who feel that way are much quieter <laughs> than people yeah. who say, no, we must defend our guy at all costs. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah. So. All right. Knows. Well, we'll see how this one plays out. We'll have more rising for you right after this.